Today with us, we have a very special guest, Mr. Miroslav Doryacha with Zagreb Airport LTD. So he's going to talk to us about all sorts of big, complicated things which scare me to death because of the, the how big this project was. So uh, let's welcome him. Thank you. Dear ladies and uh, gentlemen, uh, good evening. Thank you very much for this opportunity to be here with you this evening and have a presentation titled Zagreb Airport Concession Project. Special thanks uh, to Maya because she is uh, responsible for what I am here with you this evening. My name is Miroslav Delesher. I'm coming from Zagreb Airport. I have been working at Zagreb Airport for, uh, since uh, 1994, but in period uh, since October 2012 up to October 2017, that means five years, I was uh, president and CIO of Zagreb Airport. Uh, this is information is important according to this, uh, uh, this presentation today. Uh, it was a period uh, during the this, this project. I am at the same time assistant professor of uh, on University North in Koprivnica and also I am a specialist for quality management and other management systems and for uh, transport uh, technology and traffic in the same time. This evening I like to present uh, you this uh, a very big project for Croatia. Uh, and as an introduction, I like to give you some facts uh, and also uh, to explain the meaning of some words. Uh, I will say later uh, why it is important. After that, we will see uh, the definition of the project. I will see that the project is practically process, and uh, we will define the project management process. What is it, uh, what is its structure, uh, what is uh, its the composition, because that is uh, very important for this story. This project duration was uh, approximately uh, 10 years, and you will see uh, what are phases of this big project. Project need to be managed, as you know, and you will see uh, the original model of management of this project because it is not copy-paste. We uh, needed to, to establish uh, some special organization for this project management. Finally, a uh, few facts about the uh, new passenger terminal as a building and the central object of this project. And, few very beautiful photos and finally some sentences as a conclusion. <laughs> what is important for this project? This project is very important for uh, Croatia as, as a state because it is one of the most important and the biggest project in infrastructure in Croatia, especially when we are talking about uh, transportation and traffic sector. Uh, the concession agreement uh, has 2,210 uh, pages and first 46 pages are dictionary, the explanation of some terms. Of course, uh, we will not explain all of these uh, words, but only a few of them for the easier uh, continuation of this project. Grantor, the word grantor means davatel concessie. That is Croatian government, uh, that is uh, Republic of Croatia, represented by the government of Republic of Croatia. Concession agreement, that is Ugovor o Concesi. It consists of 210 pages and also uh, 28 attachments, annexes. But these annexes are not annexes that uh, 30 times something uh, was changed in the uh, concession agreement and nobody knows uh, uh, what is inside. Uh, probably the better word is 30 attachments of the concession agreement, such as um, the list of employees who transferred 
from the ZLZ, the Russian Luka Zagreb, to the concessioner, etc., etc. Some forms, some reports, etc. A lender means the modalats who give you the money. PMU, Project Management Unit, Organizacija za upravljanje projektom, ZLZ means Zračna Luka Zagreb DOO or Zagreb Airport LTD company, where I was the president and CIO. The definition of project, I know that you know everything about the project, but this definition is important because we need to know that project in the same time is the process. That is the point and the reason why I put this definition here. And the process, uh, the shortest definition of the process is that it is a transformation inputs to the outputs, but not on any way you will see later why. Now we can go further to explain what is the process. Here we have uh, the figure of the context diagram, that is the highest level of process. And as the first we have, and each process has, uh, sorry, each process uh, has uh, like an input customer requirement. And the result of the process need to be fulfillment of those requirements. But not on any way. It need to be according to the rules and controls and using some mechanisms or resources. Let me explain on our, our project. If this is the project uh, of uh, the concession of the airport, who are uh, customers and what are uh, their re requirements? Customers as, for example, uh, Republic of Croatia as the main owner of the airport, not only in Zagreb airport, uh, in Dubrovnik airport to Zadar, Pula, Split, etc., etc. After that, uh, passengers has their requests. After that, a very important customer of that process is our airlines, employees, and the local community, national community, etc., etc. Fulfillment of those requirements need to be the output of this process. That means uh, the scope of the concession. That is the constructing of new passenger terminal as a building and management of the airport processes for a period of 30 years. But how? According to the rules and controls and what are rules and controls? For example, international norms, national laws, concession agreement, as I said, uh, procedures, methodologies, etc., etc. And using some mechanisms and or uh, uh, we can tell resources, for example, human resource, uh, financial resource, environment, uh, working, uh, or working place, environment, um, equipment, uh, raw materials, etc., etc. That is the highest level of the process figure. But this process has its structure, its decomposition. As we say, <laughs> The input in any process is request, customer requirement or request. The first process step in any process needs to be analysis of that requirement according to the rules and controls and using some mechanisms. After the analysis, after the, this first process step, we have two possible solutions. The first one is that Probably we can conclude that our organization, our management system, our business processes are not able to fulfill requirements of customers and in that case we need to deny requests. But if we can uh, provide them, if we can fulfill those requests, we need to go in the second process step. In this case, it is uh, modeling and design of the project, of course, according to the rules and controls and using some mechanisms. And the result or output of this process step 
is modeled project. Next process step is project control, because the project needs to be controlled from some institutions responsible for that, etc., etc., according to the rules and controls in, in any process step that is the, the, the same story. The result of this process step is model and control project. And now this project is ready to be approved from some institution. In this uh, case, it is uh, ministries of government of Asia, etc., etc., some special institutions um, from the Republic of Croatia. And the result of this process step is approved project. After that, we have project realization as a process step. It is a very difficult, very complex, according to the rules, using some resources. And this line here means that this process step is very, very difficult. And it has own structure. But uh, we will not uh, um, doing this structure at the moment because it is not important for this, uh, this our story. The result of the project realization is building I mean the building of new passenger terminal, but not in function at the moment yet. And some documentation, projects, proofs, etc., etc. And finally, final activities as a process step in this process and uh, any other process, according to the rules, using the resources. And the final result, fulfillment of the requirement from the input, new passenger terminal, but in function. And many, many documents, reports, payments, etc., etc., and experience for the new cycle of this process. That is a very, very complex process. And uh, further decomposition will be or can be to uh, counting here many activities in each process step. That uh, we can do it, but not now. It is not uh, the point uh, uh, this evening. And if we do it, it will be a work breakdown structure, you know everything about it. Ten years project duration. Let me to show you what happened in that ten years. Before 2008, the political decision from high level of politics was that we can do it alone. We means Zagreb Airport LTD company with own money, with credits, and with uh, some financial support by the owners. The main owner of Zagreb Airport and any, any other uh, big airports in Croatia is Croatian government, 55%. In case of Zagreb Airport, uh, city of Zagreb, 35%. 5% city of Velika Gorica, because the airport is physically on the territory of Velika Gorica, and Zagreb county 5%. But, <clears throat> as you know, during the 2008 global economic crisis come in Croatia too. And the political decision uh, has been changed and uh, uh, they said that conclusion was that we need to find some another, some investor, some concessioner who will invest uh, own money in that project according concession agreement, etc., etc. And uh, uh, during the 2008, Zagreb Airport LTD organized international bidding for the conceptual urbanistic and architectural solution of the uh, future airport. And uh, probably you know that Croatian architects won Two of them are the members of the Croatian Academy of Science and Arts, uh, academicians uh, Branko Kitzel and uh, Veli Neidhardt. And the uh, uh, third person, uh, the member of this team, was the professor Jure Radic from the Civil Engineering Faculty in Zagreb. After that, we needed approximately two years when on uh, October 2010, the Croatian government decided to achieve, uh, to establish some expert team for the international tender process for the selection for the concession. 
And after that process, selected ADPM as a concession. ADPM means uh, Airport de Paris Management, but the concessioner is not only Airport de Paris Management, that is a global company, uh, which managed uh, uh, all airports in Paris, for example, few airports in Mexico, and few airports in Africa. Besides the ADPM in that consortium uh, was, uh, and is now also, uh, BUIC, that is a global construction company. What it means, ADPM will manage the airport, and uh, BUIC will construct the building uh, it's their core business. Besides the, the, those two companies, the, member, the members of the concession consortium uh, are uh, two financial funds related uh, with the European Investment Bank, uh, EFC, IFC fund, and Margaret fund too, and one uh, Turkish company, TAB, TAF, it is a handling company for providing, for managing the, the handling processes such as uh, handling of passengers, aircrafts, cargo, etc. And one Croatian company is the part of this consortium. It is a viaduct with 5.11% uh, uh, shares in this, in this uh, concessionaire company. And uh, if you probably saw in our papers, these days, we would like to sell mm, these uh, shares from this consortium. After this selection of the concession, because now we have a concession, finally, we needed uh, one and a half year for the concession agreement uh, signage. And concession agreement was signed on uh, April 11, 2012. And after that, Next period of one and a half year was the preparation period uh, for the handover date activity. Handover means when this concessioner transfer from the ZLZ company, Zagreb Ltd, all employees except us five and all processes. But what is uh, very important? There was no uh, there was no uh, transfer of ownership of the property of the airport. The owner of all the property, land, buildings, movable property is uh, Zagreb Airport LTD. And it will be uh, during the total period of the concession. There was no change of ownership. That's very important. Only right for management and right to construct the building. After handover day, <coughs> We needed practically three years, uh, that, is, uh, th that is a period uh, contracted by the concession agreement, uh, strictly uh, three years, for the uh, constructing uh, new passenger building as a building. And you can see uh, December 5, 2013, December 4, 2016, three years, and this is substantial completion date, uh, it is the term from the concession agreement, which means that uh, the passenger terminal was finished according to the concession agreement, etc., etc. And after that, a few weeks after, opening ceremony was on March 2017, 21st, and the uh, start of work of new passenger terminal, March 28th of last year. But what we need to know here, tendering, decision-making, and documentation pre preparing from 2008 to 2012, almost five years, period. After that, the handover preparation, one and a half year, and three years construction period. And we like to show it in, uh, in the figures, in the numbers, preparation time, approximately six years, or 67% of total time of the, this project. And construction time three years, only 33% of total time. Total time nine up to ten years. Five governments period. Here was yes, that's true. Here was the uh, Prime Minister Mr. Sanade, if you remember. After after him, Mrs. Kosa. 
after her, Mr. Milanovic, after her, Mr. Oreshkovic, and now Mr. Plenkovic. But uh, why it is uh, very important? Infrastructure projects like this, like Pelješki Bridge, most, like uh, Chio Bridge, like uh, uh, railway connection from Rijeka to the uh, state board in Hungary. Uh, projects like this need a continuation of governments. Because, as you know, one political mandate is four years. Oh yes, what after that if you don't have a continuation? You cannot manage and uh, finish project like this if you don't have continuation of few governments. In this case, it was a five governments continuation. That's very important. What is about project management? Here is Zagreb Airport LTD company. And uh, it was uh, continued to, uh, to work after the handover date, but not with 1,143 employees, such as before, but only with five. Now uh, we are six, six employees in this, in this company. This company had uh, some amount of money. And as I said, this company is the owner it was and it is and it will be in the future, in the next period of concession of 30 years, the own property of the airport. And we have to uh, hear some experts, uh, one of them are uh, experts from the concession and uh, other colleagues are experts uh, in their, in their uh, branches. Because, uh, as I said, we are a state-owned company. That means that the members of our assembly are the representatives of owners. Representative of the Croatian state is a minister of transport. And we have representative of city of Zagreb, representative city of Gorica, and Zagreb counties representative. The minister has assistant for air traffic department. He has a few assistants, but this one is important for this story. And also has a state secretary for infrastructure, because this project is infrastructure project as the first. But besides that, minister established the concession monitoring commission. Uh, consists of a few person. I, as CIO, was the and now I am also the, the member of this uh, commission, my colleague, expert for the concession, and some other, the president is the assistant of the minister, and some representatives of legal advisor, financial advisor, and construction uh, affairs advisors are the members of this, of this commission. What is very uh, important? According to the concession agreement, the communication between the grantor, that means the Republic of Croatia, and concessioner is direct. They are communicate officially. But in practice, this communication is going through the Zagreb airport in both directions. Why? Because we have a knowledge, we have a competence to prepare for our government, for our minister, analysis, documents, letters, etc., etc., put him on the table and he needs only to put his signature on that paper. And that is the practice. It is a very difficult and very complex organization and this is original organization. It is not copy-paste because we cannot copy from anyone uh, in the moment uh, when uh, this organization uh, was established. We uh, are talking about requests from interesting parties. You will see now uh, what are these requirements and how complex it is. The grantor or the Republic of Croatia as one or the first interesting party has some requests, requests, interests. New airport infrastructure, because the old passenger terminal, probably you know, 
It was okay, but uh, during the peaks, we have uh, three daily peaks each day in Zagreb. Uh, there was a lot of bottlenecks, and when we are talking about the quality of service, uh, it, can, uh, it was some problems during the peaks. That uh, means uh, government needs new airport infrastructure. Government needs money, concession fee. Uh, it needs airport management improvement. That is the expectation that everything will be better when we are talking about airport management. Traffic grow. Uh, that means uh, passenger traffic grows, aircraft, passenger, uh, aircraft traffic grow. That is the case, but not only in Zagreb, in whole Croatia, in whole Europe, and practically in whole world now. Zagreb Airport as a regional hub, that is a very big problem because some people don't understand this problem, what means regional hub. Uh, if you will have a new building, passenger building, it is not enough to start to be a regional hub. That is only one of three strategic directions. About this uh, I can discuss with you probably after this presentation, if you, if you like. Very complex uh, issue. Acceptable risks. Government uh, doesn't like non-acceptable risks. And what is one of the main requests? No obligation for the budget. Look at this. I like, I'm a grantor, I like new airport infrastructure. Give me the money. Give me the better services, better quality, give me the growth, give me that I uh, will be a, a regional hub. No risk and no obligations for my budget. Very difficult uh, requests from the grantor as interested party. But we have a lot of interested parties. One of them is concessional. Its request is fulfillment of obligation with as little cost as possible. They like to save money during the construction period and during the management period, etc. etc. Because why? Because they need to pay concession fee and they are doing that. They accepted uh, all employees with uh, protected rights. I will tell you some words about that here. Profitability, return of investment. That's the logic of investment. Somebody in Croatia, many people, many journalists, politicians like to say in, in Parliament, for example, yes, uh, somebody like foreign investor will come in Croatia and he will earn money, he will have a profit. That's the point. That's the basic, uh, uh, the basic motive of investor to invest and have a profit. That's very, very logical. Good image, very right, and good references from this project. What is about staff? They like stable status. That means like it was yesterday, like it was before. And keep material and other rights. It is not easy to, but we protect our, our employees with their uh, rights based on the collective agreement as a document for a period of five years. In spite that Croatian labor law request only one year. One, five. Five times better for, for staff. What is about unions? We had four unions in that period. They like to participate in the management. They like to be some kind of decision makers, but it is not easy and possible any time. Strong organization and influence in the organization, in the politics, etc., etc., but uh, it's not possible any time, and that is the reason for conflict. Communication with the concessioner, with the management of the concessioner, it works, it's after that, we have uh, interested party banks or, and uh, lenders. They like no big risk, return of investment, okay, and uh, successful project. They can return of investment and take interest if project is successful, and in that case, is no big risk. That's very very related. Passengers and as interested party, they like to be safe. 
at the airport, high level of service quality, improvement of airport environment. That's okay. Airlines simplified business procedures. That means simplified procedures. High level of service quality, new technology. For example, at the old passenger terminal, we didn't have uh, air bridges for uh, boarding of passengers. Now we have eight. In next phase, it will be 12, and uh, finally, in final phase, uh, 16. Mm, and cheaper service, if possible, but it is not the case anytime. Land owners, a very big problem. Get as much money as possible for land uh, which was not used for centuries. And we are on court with um, many owners of, of land. And finally, community. Uh, we can talk about the uh, local community and the community on national level. They need new infrastructure. They need concession fee. I mean owners, city of Elka Gorica and Zagreb County and the city of Zagreb. Social stability is very important, for example, for owner Velika Gorica, because many, many people, many families uh, uh, working on the airport and uh, uh, related companies. New working places, uh, positive impact on the budget of local community, and development in general. And we had a lot of problems, which is a normal situation in projects like this, uh, with uh, some interest parties. I like to explain. Uh, when we are talking about the Republic of Croatia, I don't think that. Uh, that does it mean, in my words, that we have problem with our main owner, with the Republic of Croatia? But what is the problem? Institutional framework, because our laws uh, was not good enough for project like this, because this is original model. And during the project, we needed to change five or six laws. For example, law of airports, uh, concession law two times, uh, law of construction, the law of expropriation of land, etc., etc. Financing obligation from concession agreement. Huh? We said that the uh, grantor said, uh, don't touch my budget, but I need, I want uh, to be a regional hub and I like to have a new infrastructure. What happened? Remember, ZLZ had some money, collected money from previous period because the first de decision during uh, or before 2008 was you can do it with your own money and some credits, etc. etc. ZLZ LTD accepted all financial obligations in spite of the Croatian government and uh, it is based on the decisions of the government. And maximum interest protection, you need to understand the interests of the greater and protect it. That's the story. Concessioner as interested party, the problem sometimes was uh, fulfilling the quality obligations from the concession agreement and concession agreement obligations. Because we have here a problem, two, two, two uh, sides, uh, two concessioner on my side, uh, one side and the grantor, Republic of Croatia, another side, with understanding, different approach and different understanding of the same chapter of the concession agreement. It can be the problem, and uh, uh, to solve this problem, you need to engage uh, law advisors and many other experts. Stuff, distrust, <coughs> distrust of the management, fear, and no change. Leave me alone, don't touch me. <laughs> yes, unions support this philosophy. And individual interests of union leaders, few of them, they can sacrifice the project, employees, everything to keep its positions. No change philosophy, and they like big influence on many processes. What it means? One guy in our practice of unions, because we had four unions, one guy in the same time is president of the biggest union. After that, he is director of company established by unions. After that, he is the uh, middle level manager. After that, he is the coordinator and PR of those four unions. And finally, he is the members, the representative of employees in supervisory board. 
and he can stop you on all of these processes. And it was it was the situation. And we had a strike, uh, uh, low shoots, about uh, 400 low shoots, etc., etc. And media, I mean, the way of informing, and I will stop here about this interested party. <laughs> what is the result of this story, this positive story? I like to point it that this story is positive for Croatia. Technical figures of new passenger terminal. 65,000 square meters surface of the building. 35,000 cubic meters embedded concrete only in building. And 40,000 cubic meters embedded concrete outside the new passenger terminal surrounding. Half million cubic meters excavation volume. That means the, the growth excavation, yeah? ground excavation. 5,000 ton built-in armature. 2,000 ton steel construction, 35,000 square meter roof surface, 250,000 square meter asphalt surface, 35 kilometers drainage pipes, 1,100 car park places, 30 checking counters, 23 passport counters, uh, passport control, uh, eight air bridges, as I said, and uh, uh, in next phase it will be 12, and finally it will be 16. Three kilometer luggage conveyor, and totally automated sorting area, 16 elevators, 15 escalator stairs, and look at this, you are IT experts, as I heard. 36,000 tests before opening the terminal. And here are the result of the story. This is a uh, uh, view from the air side, from the apron, terminal building and uh, air bridges. This is land side during the night, during the day, during the day, the roof and uh, one air bridge. Interior, this is the area for baggage climbing. This is interior. Conveyor belt system, three and a half kilometers. And uh, new passenger terminal is not only object in this big project. Uh, we had some sub-project which uh, was necessary to be finished uh, uh, related uh, with the new passenger terminal function. The first of them is a hangar for Air Force Duo and part of a road to Aeronautical Technical Center in Velika Gorica. This road is connected apron of Air Force aircraft and the Technical Aeronautical Center uh, in Velika Gorica. And we need to destroy the uh, logistics of Air Force on the place A because we needed this land for the new passenger terminal and remove it and construct a new one at the position B. That was one very big project. Underpass road linking the old and new passenger terminal because the intention was to make free uh, procedure for the uh, Air Force aircraft and the road traffic and cars is going on the pass. Pressure pipeline of rain drainage inside and outside the concession fee. That means that we uh, invest and construct a system of pressure pipeline and collect all the rain and waste uh, water from the apron and from the runway and uh, it is going to the some stations where uh, it need to be clean, and after that by pumps uh, to the river Sava, but clean water is going to the river Sava. A fecal water drainage system also, and access road of about one and a half kilometer long from the direction of Domovinsky Bridge, that is the main approach to the new passenger terminal from the city of Zagreb. But this uh, amount was financed uh, for, by the company Croatian Roads. 
And total investment in these projects, 235.7 million kunas by money belongs to ZLZ LTD. And all of these payments, except this, has my signature. Finally, a few words as a conclusion. That is one of the most demanded infrastructure projects in Croatia at the moment. As you know, we will have uh, another big project such as uh, Pelješki Bridge, uh, Chievo Bridge, etc., etc. Total investment was in the first phase 230 million euros and final phase will be 350 up to 400. The project is completed on time. It's very important. Why? Because it was managed Okay. Participation of 26 Croatian companies. I published one article about new passenger terminal project and counted all of these 26 Croatian companies because this project was very important for the whole Croatian economy. That's very important. Very competent project management. Very complex PMO, as I showed you. And know-how for similar projects in Croatia and abroad. And what is very important, we can do it. <laughs> Thank you very much. So we have time for questions. I'll ask the first one. Uh, your first step of the project management um, I guess sequence was analyzing the requirements document. So the question is, did you write the requirements document or were you presented with those from the Croatian government? If you wrote them, how long did that take? And if you were presented with them, how long did it take to analyze them? The analysis was, uh, as a first process step, was a very complex um, process and activity. And uh, it needed uh, very big experts. Uh, I like to say that uh, uh, if you are only economist, for example, you cannot understand the whole concession agreement. If you are only a lawyer, the same situation. If you are only a reconstructor engineer, of course, the same situation. What it means? It means that it is a team experts business. And we had some advisors uh, from foreign countries, for example, from the United States, some experts who are working on the concession agreement. And analysis uh, was the activity of expert, experts uh, nominated from the government and uh, with the coordination with the advisors from other special uh, organizations, uh, domestic and from abroad too. And the period was, uh, Almost two years. Great, thanks. Uh, if you have questions, raise your hand, please. You can just say it, I'll repeat them. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to ask about the timeline that you've spoken about at the start of your talk, um, and uh, where it was six years preparation for three years of construction. Is that about an industry norm for a project of this scale internationally? So the question was just for the uh, microphone. Six years preparation, three years of actual uh, construction, is that normal for a project of this size? And if I understand you correct, uh, this is not the standard. This, this uh, share of preparation period and the share of construction period. This preparation period probably can be smaller, can be shorter, but uh, uh, we give it experience. And now we have a how, know how, and in a similar projects, uh, I hope that this uh, preparation period will be uh, much more or less, but it depends of those five governments, uh, elections between uh, those governments, it means uh, 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 what is the situation with the uh, institutional framework. We needed to change some laws, as I said, that is the procedure, you know, government, uh, ministries, uh, uh, parliament, uh, three readings in parliament procedure, etc., etc. Many, many factors uh, uh, has impact on this preparation period. It depends from case to case. More questions? Great. 
What's going to happen to the old terminal? Old terminal exists, as you know, and uh, the function of uh, old terminal uh, is not defined at the moment, but uh, according to the information I have now, uh, it will be rented. Like offices, for example, there is a lot of interesting parties, because you know that the airport is not only an uh, airport company. There are uh, is situated a lot of companies, such as park orders, taxi companies, bus companies, uh, many ag agencies, etc., etc., and the uh, old terminal will be in function for renting as uh, offices. Can I rent the old terminal for a party for one night? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Other questions? If you have questions, just put your hand up and leave it up, because then it's faster. Uh, what is the biggest advice you can give us uh, that you learn from this project? that uh, we can do it. <laughs> you must believe in yourself, in your colleagues, in your team, and be focused uh, for the full film of requirement from the beginning, from the input. And you need to, to, to go uh, straight. Don't see left or right, just forward. Mentioned, you mentioned some of the um, some of the issues that you had. Can you just go into a little more detail about one of the toughest challenges you faced, or one of the most unexpected things that was a problem? Um, there was a few unexpected problems. Uh, for example, uh, you are providing process uh, like um, um, that is a, what is the term uh, using permit for the building, for example. And uh, uh, you need to open the terminal in for uh, 15 days, and you don't have uh, institutional framework, the law, uh, who makes uh, able to have uh, using permit on time. And in very short period, you need to uh, provide a procedure to change the law, and uh, finally we, we did it on time. That is the, the problem, because uh, I said uh, uh, this is original model. Croatia, uh, as, a, as a state, uh, doesn't have, uh, didn't have uh, uh, enough experience with the models like this. And uh, there was a lot of problems. Uh, the main problems were our laws, because they need to be changed, that the project can be finished. Can you, can you say uh, one? A situation or one a user request when you need to say no to Thank you. one a user request where you had to say no so for instance yes maybe uh, uh, for example uh, probably um, for a rental car companies they needed uh, they had uh, approximately 20 counters in uh, uh, old building old new passenger terminal really uh, uh, on the same 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 type and they needed the same uh, space in the new passenger terminal. But the uh, renting politics of the concessioner is different. They like to, he like to, he'd like to, to take a lot of money for this because the, uh, that space is of the highest level of quality. And uh, there was a lot of uh, discussion uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, their uh, companies and uh, their requests are accepted. But there is not the same story like on the home passenger terminal, some new approach, some new uh, resolving of the problem, but they are satisfied. Special request uh, was from police. You saw that we have 23 passport control counters. On the home terminal it was much more less. And the procedure is uh, the same. But uh, what, is, uh, what means 23 counters if you don't have enough stuff? That's a problem. With customs, the same story. But uh, all of those problems are solved uh, uh, during uh, the, the conversation. Uh, their their uh, requirements uh, understood. Hi. Uh, now that you have the know-how, what processes would you cut out of the equation? Where was like the biggest headache and you know what is not needed to do the whole thing? And know-how is very important uh, uh, because we can use it not only for the airport projects. 
we can uh, support uh, our government. Uh, uh, probably I like uh, to, to say uh, as the first. Uh, this position of uh, PMO, of uh, Zagreb Airport LTD, is regulated by the law of airports, uh, which means uh, that uh, we can provide uh, or give uh, our technical and expert support to our government as a grantor. That situation is possible with uh, another uh, infrastructure project, such as Pelski Most, for example, such as a uh, concession for the Osek Airport or Rijeka Airport or some other. I have information from the colleagues from Belgrade. They studied our model from the first day because our concession agreement uh, was published on the website of the Ministry of Transport on 5th of December 2013. And who uh, uh, like uh, can uh, study it and uh, to collect experience. Another question here in the back. Uh, so the new terminal is obviously uh, bigger than the old one, and uh, it has more gates, more uh, bridges, everything. But uh, as far as I, as I know, and uh, those are the statistics, st statistics from the media, that there are also more crowds, uh, more delays, and uh, people are waiting longer time at the, ter at the terminal. So whose actually fault is it, and uh, is there any way that you are trying to solve it? The management of uh, the airport fault, uh, but it is a normal situation uh, uh, at the beginning of the new procedures, new technology. New terminal means new technology. Uh, we didn't have uh, air bridges, for example, on existing uh, old building. Uh, for example, probably you know the situation with the uh, Terminal 5 on Heathrow Airport in London. There was a confusion for a few weeks after the opening ceremony. That is a normal, but situation uh, now is uh, much more, much more better. And when we are talking about the quality monitoring, Zagreb Airport LTD company uh, is uh, uh, providing a quality monitoring, uh, analyzing the, the situation. And of course, according to the concession agreement, concession has an obligation to uh, measure quality each quarter by the airport uh, quality service. That is international independent institution who is doing it for the all airports around the world. Hi, you mentioned that one of the requirements from the government was Zagreb to become a regional hub. What does that mean exactly? Sorry? Uh, Zagreb airport to become a regional hub. So yes. can you explain that a bit more? Mm -hmm. According to our business model, we established that model many years ago, uh, there is necessary to provide a free strategic direction to be a regional hub. First one is uh, infrastructure. That means we need to have a modern infrastructure now, it is a situation with a new passenger terminal, but it is not enough. The second strategic direction is to uh, is a route development. You need to have uh, direct services from different parties of Europe, different parties of the world. And in that case, you will be interesting for the neighboring countries and for the region to uh, use Zagreb Airport as a regional hub. For example, if you will have a direct flight from Zagreb to New York two times a week, it will be interest from people, passengers from Bosnia, for example, from Slovenia, from neighboring countries. Uh, uh, why? It is easier for them than uh, uh, going through Frankfurt or through Zurich, Paris, etc., etc. These airports are very big. In Zagreb, they are not uh, language barrier. In Zagreb, lunch is better and cheaper than in Frankfurt. And many of them uh, have uh, friends, families, etc., etc. That means road development is very important to be a regional hub. And after that, Technology. That means procedures, that means educated and trained staff, but it is not a problem here, probably at the beginning now with uh, this uh, adaptation, but uh, our people, our staff uh, and our procedures are the same like in Europe, like around the world, because we are small, but we are the part of a global system. I think that's all we have for questions. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you, very much. Uh, thank you for coming to PM Zagreb. As always, we recorded the talk and we will have it online 
uh, around the time of the next meetup. So by coming, you get your information a month ahead of everyone else. Uh, so look forward to this being posted on YouTube. Uh, please join our Facebook group, Twitter, our mailing list, all sorts of good stuff. Uh, thank you for coming. Please enjoy the food and the beer in the back. And if we've totally screwed up and done something terribly, terribly wrong, please come and let us know. And then we will recruit you as one of our organizers. Thanks. <laughs>